Hey, hey, hey. Good evening. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Hey, Tara. Hello, everyone coming in on Facebook. Oh, y'all on Facebook. Y'all drop. <laughs> I, I wouldn't see anything. Y'all uh, drop your comments below in the chat. Let Say hey, you know, if you're tuning in, for everybody tuning in on Instagram. What's up? Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead and let me know where you're tuning in from. Hi, Tamaya. Go ahead in the comments. Say hey. It's, it's the evening. And let me know where you are tuning in from. I want to see where everybody's located tonight. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and get started very soon. I'm just trying to share this um, over to my uh, Facebook page. That's what we're trying to do right now. All right, Tara's in Delaware. What's up? What's up? Hello, hello, everybody coming in on Instagram. Let me know. Say hey in the comments. Let me know where you're from. All right, we're going to get started very, very shortly. I'm just trying to share this out. Here we go. All right. Oh, oh, wow. Is it Naila? 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 Tuning in from um, Los Angeles. M. Zarika is in Orlando. Tamaya's in New Orleans. Takora, hey Takora, Michigan. I need to chat with you for a moment too, uh, Takora. Levine is in Albany, Georgia. Albany State. You know I'm a graduate of the Fort Valley State, right? All right, we're going to go ahead and get right into it tonight. We're going to talk about why you should plan to start a one-on-one -on -one coaching program when you write your book and if you are tuning in live. If this is your first time with me or if you are catching the replay, hello and welcome. My name is Jasmine Womack and I help corporate professionals and small business owners package their experience and their expertise into a high quality book that they can actually use to grow their business and start high end coaching programs and take on high end clients. So. If you want to write a book that's going to help you grow your brand, if you want to write a book that's going to help you make money and a massive amount of impact, then I am the person that you come and talk to. So no, unfortunately, I don't work with children's books, cookbooks, poetry books, or anything. But what I can do is teach you how to take your degrees and make them and, and make them work for you. What I can teach you is how to take your professional, how to blend your professional experience with your um, your professional expertise, with your personal experiences, into writing a high quality book that's going to impact lives, help you get paid speaking engagements, and actually help you build out an information-based business. So if those are some of the things that you desire to do, then I am the person that you come and work with. If all you want to do is share your story and talk about what happened to you in your life, if all you want to do is write and publish your book so that you can get it on Amazon, then I'm likely not the person for you. I'm going to be straight up honest with you about that, okay? Because I don't like for anybody to waste their time. But again, if you want to write a high, uh, a highly impactful book, self-help, to, how-to business, and you want to use your book to help you grow and expand your business and create an additional stream of revenue, then you're in the right place. So uh, Kamisha is tuning in from Arkansas. Um, I see you guys tagging people. If you know somebody who needs this, go ahead and share this to their inbox. If you're on Instagram, you can click the airplane button down below. Share this directly to their inbox. And if you're on Facebook, all you have to do is share this to your page. So we know that there are such things as algorithms. So the more that we like, the more that we share, the more that we comment, the more that the video is seen. So I definitely appreciate your hearts. I appreciate your likes and I appreciate you 
leaving feedback with me and commenting with me, asking questions as we go on and go. So on the East Coast, it's getting late. <laughs> it's about 9.30 at night on the East Coast. And so for that reason, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Hi, Regine. So um, just some housekeeping. If you haven't, Published and Paid is Friday. <laughs> Published and Paid is a five-hour virtual event where I'm diving deep into mindset, messaging, marketing, and monetization. Five straight hours of straight up live coaching from me is $49. I don't teach live at all for that price ever. It's the beginning of the year. So I wanted to do something for the new year. So definitely make sure that you go ahead and secure your ticket. If you haven't, class is over halfway full and um, you won't be able to register after Thursday night. You will not be able to register after Thursday night. If you've already registered, then be on the lookout for an email from us tomorrow. Then we're gonna send another one on Thursday and another one on Friday, okay? Um, thank you, Lady Global. Um, if you haven't registered, make sure that you go ahead and register because we're capping the class at 100. Right now we have over 60 people registered. So we probably have maybe about 30 more spots and I likely will not be teaching this class again, especially at this price. So definitely make sure that you go ahead and secure your seat. It's Friday from three to 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you register, yes, you do get limited access to the replay for five days. So in order to register and reserve your spot to publish and pay, you can go to jasminewomack.com forward slash PP live. If you're on Instagram, just click the link in my bio. It's the first tab there. And if you're on Facebook, you can go visit me on Instagram or I'll actually come in afterwards. If somebody can type it in for me, then I would greatly appreciate that. That's jasminewomack.com forward slash PP live. And if you know how I teach, if you know how I get down, like Bree said on Instagram, you know that's a steal because it is not cheap to work with me. Okay. So if you haven't reserved your spot, definitely make sure that you go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Tonight we're talking about why you should plan to start a one-on-one -on -one coaching program when you write your book. And when I was actually making this um, addition uh, of teaching authors how to create one-on-one -on -one coaching programs. One of my coaches was like, why don't you, why don't you teach how to do a group program? Why are you teaching one-on-one? -on -one? Um, it's PP live in uh, lady, a global on Instagram It's jasminewomack.com forward slash PP live. But one of my coaches was like, why are, why are you teaching people how to do a one-on-one -on -one coaching program? Why aren't you teaching them how, how to do a group? And, and my response was, well, I teach groups in my mastermind. But if you've ever coached before, if you've ever held any type of coaching program before, you know that before you grow to teaching many at one time, you have to streamline your processes. You have to make sure that your frameworks are solidified. You have to make sure that you know that what you're teaching works. You need testimonials and you need opportunity to actually flush out the content because what you actually create the first time, you may find that when you implement it or when others implement it, it may not work, all right? So, and, and, and this is why I said, I said people who are new to coaching, who are new to coaching in their own business, you have to give yourself the opportunity to perfect your processes before you, and, and perfect your methods before you grow and scale to group, okay? so. Well, that's what we're talking about one-on-one -on -one coaching programs because this is one of the reasons why you find people with group coaching programs that are totally trash. It's because they did not take the time to actually dive in deep with that when when they had the opportunity to do it one on one they just tried to go for the they just tried to you know go or scale or do what they probably thought everybody else was doing instead of actually taking the time to grow and build so we're going to get into it why you should start a one-on-one -on -one coaching program when you write your book and this is especially important for those of you all who may be new to coaching um you may be new to coaching for yourself. You may have coached on your job, but coaching for yourself is a totally different ball game, okay? So we're gonna jump into it. Now, number one, okay? Writing and speaking go hand in hand, all right? So when you write your book, you need to be prepared to speak. 
Why? Because speaking is one to many. We're talking about speaking on live stream, speaking on other people's live streams, speaking on podcasts, speaking on the news. Okay. We're also talking about speaking at events, speaking at live events, speaking at virtual conferences and things of that nature. We're also talking about training. We're also talking about consulting. I consider all of this speaking. Speaking is not limited to you going to an event or going to a conference and you keynoting. Speaking also includes workshops. Speaking also includes live streams. So every time, you, if you say that you want to speak, we need to see you speaking. You need to be hopping on live. It's probably one of the best ways to practice. It really, really, truly is. You need to be pitching yourself to get featured on podcasts because that's an opportunity for you to speak. It's an opportunity for you to speak. And one of the great things about live streaming and podcasts is that on podcast, you're being interviewed and live streaming, you're talking to a screen. It's the exact same way when you go, if you, if you want to go speak on the radio station, you're literally in a room with one other person with some microphones, but you have thousands or t tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands and millions of people listening to you. It's the same with live stream. All it takes is one solid live stream or one solid topic for, for, and for, for the right person to share it. And then it's viral or all it takes is for you to do or to speak on a, on, on a viral topic and, 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 and somebody takes a clip and it goes viral. We've seen it happen. Hey, everybody coming in. Hey, Kim, we've seen it happen. Okay. We've seen it happen. And so writing and speaking go hand in hand. Now, here's the thing. When you actually go to start speaking and you're, you're sharing your message, you're sharing your story, you're giving people uh, tips that they can actually implement and execute to get an immediate result, then people are naturally going to start wanting more. They're going to come and follow you on social media. Okay. If you've been on clubhouse, you, you probably, you know, hurt people on the stage and then you go follow them after you heard them speak, right? Or you, maybe you hosted a room or you've been on the stage and then you notice that people come and follow you or people send you messages. Obviously, right? When people, you know, hear you say something or when people hear you present and provide highly valuable information, okay? When you say something that really impacts them, they're going to come and follow up with you. They're going to shoot you an email. They're going to come and follow you on social media. They might shoot you a DM or they might just join your email list and sit back and watch and see if you are who you say you are. Writing and speaking go hand in hand. So whether it's immediate or whether it's 90 days later after someone's had the opportunity to actually observe you and ingest more of your content, if they like what you do and if what if the information that you're providing actually relates to them, they're going to want more. They're going to want to work with you. They're going to want to, you know, see what they can do to get your help so that they can actually get the transformation that they desire. Okay. Therefore you need to have something to sell them outside of your book. So the book is like the lead magnet. Your book is like your business card. Your book is like your, like your introduction. This is where you're saying, Hey, this is what, this is, it, 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 this is, this is what I do. Okay. Or this is what you can do on your own. But we know that this, the strategies are out there, right? We know that the methods are out there. It's not that people lack the imp the information It's that people struggle with the implementation and that's why they're going to want to come and likely work with you in a coaching program. They're going to need some handholding. They're going to want some accountability. They're going to want someone to actually help them implement the steps. So like in your book, you can, you can lay your framework out in a book, but how many people actually, you know, are actually, they'll read the book, but not too many people will actually go and implement everything that you say, unless they're extremely disciplined. And we know that, that adults lack discipline, right? And they're willing to pay for your assistance to help hold them accountable or to show them or explain to them in more detail than you provide in the book, actually how to get from where they are to where they desire to be. 
All right. Writing and speaking go hand in hand. You need to have something beyond your book to sell because people actually want the help and they need the help with implementation, with execution, and they want the step-by-step -step strategies that, that are provided in a coaching session that you may not necessarily provide in a book, okay? And along with that coaching, when you, when you do that, when you offer a four or five figure coaching package, it's going to help you make more money. So your book is 20 to $30. It's a lead magnet. It's the best form of a lead magnet that you can provide. Okay. The other, and the, the other thing about it that a lot of people don't realize is that especially when you, when you want to sell high end, high end, when I say high end, I'm not talking about individual sessions. Okay. I'm not talking about sessions for $49. I'm not talking about sessions for $99. I'm not talking about sessions for $149 or any of that because that's not scalable. Okay. This actually takes me into number two. All right. So when you, when you are actually, when you, when you write your book, you should actually plan to start a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. And a one-on-one -on -one coaching program is not the same thing as offering sessions. I tell all my clients, do not come up in here trying to offer sessions because I'm going to tell you, you do not need to do that. The reason is because sessions are not scalable. You can't scale it. Sessions will burn you out. You got to think about it. If you're trying to make $1,000, if you're trying to make, if you're trying to make $5,000 for the month, how many sessions are you going to have to do to reach your income goal? How, how much energy is that going to take from you? It sound, it looks cool. Hey, I got sessions. I got sessions. I'm like, you, you booked and tied. <laughs> booked and burnt out. That, that's what you're going to, that's what's going to happen if you try to go, you know, offering one-on-one -on -one sessions, not to mention that individual coaching sessions provides a bandaid when what people need is surgery. Does that make sense? One-on-one -on -one coaching sessions provides a bandaid when what people need is actual surgery. So a coaching session for 30 minutes or 45 minutes, it's like, okay, you can go and do this. But that's not really going to help them accomplish the overall goal that they want to accomplish in their business. The overall goal that they want to accomplish in their business is likely going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of effort and it's going to take more intense work than what can be provided within 30 minutes. So yes, in 30 minutes, I can tell you how hey, you can go through this and get a quick win, but that's not going to solve your overall problem or restructure your overall business or really help you obtain the level of income you're really, really trying to make. Because nine times out of 10, after you go and do whatever I say in the 30 minute session, you're gonna come back with more questions or you're gonna ask, okay, well, what's the next step? That's why you have a program to teach the system. You provide surgery in the program, whereas in one-on-one -on -one sessions, you're just providing a Band-Aid, okay? Does that make sense? Y'all let me know. Give me some feedback. Let me know something. <laughs> Does this make sense? And so this is why when you write your book, you should go ahead and start thinking, okay, well, what's next after the book? What am I going, to, what can I sell for four figures or five figures? You know, 2,000 up to $10,000 for uh, eight, six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks, one year, okay? To help someone get from where they are to where they need to be and provide the entire system for them without burning myself out. So they can get what they need and I can still provide it without burning myself out. One of my clients has already booked over $100,000 because she has a five-figure coaching program, a six-month five-figure coaching program. And she ain't burnt out <laughs> at all. And that's for the next six months. So I'm just saying, all right, so let's move on into number three, okay? You need to start, plan to start a one-on-one -on -one coaching program when you write your book because 
one-on-one -on -one is going to help you really focus in on your framework. Your framework is the process to help your client get the result. So one-on-one -on -one is going to help you focus in on your framework and it's going to really help you dial in on the problem that your client has and making sure that you're doing your very best to actually provide them with the solution. Okay. This is why I say you need to do one-on-one -on -one before you go to group. And if you've already created something that's like a group coaching program, take you a few clients through it at first. You can either do a small group like with three people or take three people one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Because what this is going to allow you to do is like really hone in on where the gaps are, where they have questions, you know, like were there any gaps in your curriculum? Were there any gaps in your instruction? So that you can actually go back and create that content to fill those gaps. And even you'll learn the questions that, that your students will have so that you can go back and address, uh, create additional content for your program to address the questions before they even ask it. Y'all, I ran my program for two years. I ran my signature program, my Author Made Easy Bootcamp for two years before I really scaled it on a major level last year, okay? I ran it for two years. And I not only did I, I look at, or pay attention to where my students had trouble in the program. So I went in and created content to address that. But I also looked at, okay, well, how are they doing when they leave the program? Where are they struggling at? Okay, what do I see? how are they doing three months or six months after they leave the program? I'll go and just look on their social media and see what they're doing. I'm like, okay, well, this is what they're having problems with. Now let me expand my program to solve this problem so now I can provide not just a, 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 a portion of this, not just to help you write and publish your book, but now I can provide a, a complete solution. So by the time you stop working with me, you have an entire business model. Okay, you have an entire business model. So uh, one -on -one, working one-on-one -on -one also allows you to perfect your audience and your messaging. You're going to learn what type of people you enjoy working with, what type of people you don't. When you determine, you know what, I want to work with a different type of client. I'm tired of attracting people who always say they can't afford it, they're not ready, they only want to do this. That's really not what I do. And that's, and, and that's limiting me and I'm capable of so much more and I just don't want to work with them. I want to work with people who can pay me in full this amount. This That means that it's time to change your messaging. If you and, it's, it, and, and you don't want to do that when you have a group coaching program. When you have your group program, you already want your messaging dialed in. You don't want to be in a situation where you have a group program, but yet you find yourself tweaking your message every few months. It's easier to do that when you're working one-on-one -on -one and you realize, okay, you know what? I really don't like working with this type of client. I really don't like working with that type of client. I really want to work with this type of per person. Let me tweak my messaging so I can actually start, so I can actually start attracting the type of people to me that I want to work with. Okay, does this make sense? And we're talking about this um, on Friday and published and paid because messaging, this is the content that you put out, the words that you use, the stories that you use, the type of lead magnets that, or, or, or even the titles of your webinars or the titles of your live streams, all of that's messaging is speaking to a particular type of person. So I know when I say I help corporate professionals and small business owners write high quality books to help you attract uh, or, or to help you build a high-end speaking and coaching business, I know I'm talking to a certain person because there are certain people, they don't even register words like high-end. They don't even register words like corporate professional. They don't re register words like or terms or phrases like small business owner. That's messaging. And that's just in my introduction. That's just in, 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 in my elevator pitch. 
right there. I'm telling you exactly who I'm working with, what I'm going to help you to do. So this will indicate or give you an indication into my price range. Because if I'm going to help you build, use your book to build a high end speaking and coaching business, then obviously I must be high end. I'm not, that means I'm not cheap to work with. So that means that if you're looking for, you know, the, the, uh, a whole six, eight, 12 weeks for as little as you can get, I'm not the person. My messaging does not speak to that. So you want to make sure that your messaging aligns with your marketing and is speaking to the type of reader and client that you want. Messaging starts when you title your book and when you also give it a subtitle. Messaging also continues with your subsequent content. When you work one-on-one -on -one with clients, it gives you an opportunity to really nail in the type of person that you want to work with and the messaging that you need to have in order to attract more people, more of your dream clients and repel the people who you don't want to work with. But if you rush to try to create a group coaching program, now you have all these people you have to service and you don't have the systems in place. You don't have the infrastructure in place. Your messaging is out of alignment. So all you're doing is attracting more of what you don't want. When honestly, had you just slowed down a bit and, and built slowly, but surely and steadily, you could have, you know, avoided some, some of those mistakes. And this is the thing. People are in such a rush to grow as fast as possible. But what happens is that when you grow too fast, oftentimes you can't sustain the growth because there were things that you would have learned had you really taken your time and gone through the process. There were things that you would have learned in the foundation that would have prepared you to sustain the growth that you will experience when you actually coach with groups. I'm telling you this because I, I know it. <laughs> I'm telling you this because it happened to me. I'm not telling you anything that I don't know. Okay. And I think I said this before as well, but working one-on-one -on -one also allows you to work the kinks out in your program. So, before you scale it to group, you need to like flush out your curriculum. And there may be some things that initially you say, hey, I wanna teach this, or my people really need to know this. But you realize after going through it, it's just like, you know what, I need to take that out. That's too advanced. You know what, I need to take that out. That's too much. That can go in the next step, or that can go into the next program. I, th this program right here needs to focus on helping this group of people accomplish this one thing. If, but if you're trying to build up a group too fast, then you're going to miss those opportunities to really perfect and, and create an experience that's going to help your clients get an ultimate result. So if you have some questions, um, let me know if this makes sense. I see a couple of y'all leaving comments. Let me know if this makes sense. And I know that this goes against with a lot, what a lot of coaches tell you, but I'm telling you what I've learned. I built a, a business from the ground up. I was a middle school classroom teacher when I started this. I knew nothing about online business and I've grown it to where it is now. And I, I don't share my numbers. I share my clients numbers. Okay. So I'm not telling you something that I don't know. All right. And for those of you all, if you haven't registered for published and paid yet, it's Friday from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Make sure that you go to jasminewomack.com forward slash PP live. Yes, it's great for aspiring authors and published authors who need to get back on track. Published authors, you're trying to like really you know, dig into it and grow your book, it's going to be good for you as well. Aspiring authors, yes, it's going to be good for you because we're going to be sharing some things that you need to know to get started on your book as well as showing you what's beyond the book, okay? So make sure you go to jasminewomack.com forward slash pp live if you're on Instagram. 
you can simply click the link in my bio to re register and reserve your spot. So the floor is open for Q and A. If you have, I'll do five minutes, okay? Um, if you have a question on Facebook, you can simply drop your question in the comment box. And if you have a question on Instagram, you can drop your question in the question bar. So it says somebody has a question, but I guess you guys, I uh, guess they deleted it or whatnot. All right. So I'll just wait. Um, Shanika says, should we consider becoming a certified coach or get or get a certification? That's a great question. Um, if you know what you're talking about and you know what you're doing and you've done it for yourself and you can help others do it, I don't necessarily believe that that's requ a, a, a requirement. Okay. Now, if you really want to get into the art of coaching and you want to, you know, learn how to ask probing questions and things of that nature, then that, you know, uh, that will be a good investment, but it's not necessary for you to have a coaching program. You can even go, honestly, you can go on, um, on Amazon. There are books, start reading them. If you want to increase your coaching capabilities. The well, this is one of my books. It might not be good for you, but the art of executive coaching: secrets to unlock leadership performance. Okay, I want to be an executive coach for corporations. All right, so this is why I have this. But depending on the type of coach you're trying to be, this might not be good for you. So don't go run out and get this if it's not for you. Okay, but the coaching habit. Say less, ask more, and change the way you lead forever. I mean, you can read books on how to become a better coach and actually implement those skills and strategies. You know, there are so many great books on how to enhance your coaching skills. If you're not necessarily familiar with coaching, you don't necessarily need to go get a certification. People just want to see results and they want to know that you can actually help them, that you can do what you say do if you have a question on instagram please make sure that you put your question in the question box i'm not going to be able to um, answer them if they're just on the scroll okay because it's going fast and i'm looking at questions on facebook and instagram so if you're on instagram make sure that you put your question in the question box all right shanika let me know if that makes sense Okay, he says, I can receive questions when badges are on. Okay, so my badges are on, but I can't show the question on screen. But Jazzy305 on Instagram says, I'm new to producing authors. Instead of a group, take one-on-ones first. I'm going to say this. At the end of the day, you can do what you want to do. But if you're new to producing authors, I would not encourage you to do a group coaching program first if you at least haven't done it one-on-one -on -one with a minimum of three to five people. And that's just me being totally honest before i did any type of group coaching program i was taking one-on-one -on -one individual service clients for over a year before i did anything group i was taking um strategy not strategy yeah i was taking consultations for over a year these consultations allow is what helped me to create the program that i created so like for me i didn't create a program because i saw other people creating it I created a program because I saw there was a need for it and the questions that I was being asked on my consultation. So I used to do free consultations every day on my commute to work because that was the only time that I could do them. I had an hour and a half commute from work. And by the time I would pick up my son, who was a few months old, I had an hour to pick up. Um, I had 15 to 20 minutes to pick up my, my bonus daughter and then like an hour to pick up my, um, my 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 dad my daughter and then we had to drive home i knew that i could take about let me see i knew that i could fit at least three to four calls within one hour so i always blocked off enough time for five calls per day monday through thursday normally my call calendar was booked i would record the calls if i could i would take notes i would have a little notepad in the passenger seat while I was driving and on, on my earphones because I was writing down notes of things that they would say. 
on these calls, they would, when I started hearing certain things over and over and over again, or I started getting certain questions over and over and over again, that's what allowed me, or that's what gave me the idea to actually, um, uh, work with people in session. I did start off in sessions. That's why I'm telling y'all don't start off in sessions because it's a waste of time. Then I started doing some VIP days and then I took it to a group program. But I had worked with enough authors to know what needed to happen in that group program. So if you're new to taking, if you're if you're new to what you're doing, Jazzy305, I would say get your feet wet first. Get you three to five clients, work with them one-on-one -on -one or in a beta group, a small group session. Don't go get 10, 20, 25 people trying to work with them all at one time and this is your first time working with them. Does that make sense? It's easier to go through it with three to five people than it is you have 15, 20, 25 people. You're, you might be the only person. I'm not sure if you have a team. Now you're dealing with billing. You're dealing with people asking you questions. I, I, you know, you're dealing with all the things you're trying to deal with with running a group. And a lot of a lot of times, if you just slow down and work with a couple of people up front, it will prepare you to actually scale when you're ready to go into the group. Does that make sense? Because the worst thing to do is to do something before you're ready or prepared to do it, and then you get overwhelmed as a result, and you end up shutting it down, or you can't really grow it like you want to grow it. So I'm I'm a big proponent of growing slow. I grew slowly. I grew slowly. Getting it out the mud. Kamisha says, I'm a therapist. I'm at capacity for sessions. Would you recommend doing a low ticket group membership to perfect the framework and get testimonials? Absolutely not. Memberships are draining too. Memberships are draining too. If you're at capacity for sessions, that means that you've been doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, Kamisha. So if you're at capacity for sessions, you've been doing the one-on-one, -on -one, now it's time for you to turn those sessions into a coaching program. And if you're at capacity for one-on-one, -on -one, then it's time for you to do group. Because you already know the information. You've been doing it one-on-one -on -one and you can't take anymore. So you know the ins and outs. Do a group program. Don't do a membership. Memberships are draining too. Memberships are draining too. If you're at capacity for sessions, you know what it is you need to teach. You know what those common um, issues are. Create a program around that. All right, so Takiya says, so one-on-one -on -one or beta group should only be recruited after speaking engagement. I don't really understand that question. I'm not understanding that question. I didn't give a framework tonight. I was just saying writing and speaking go hand in hand. So you're gonna have to speak, but oftentimes after speaking, people want to do, people want to work with you. So you're going to need something else to sell, okay? Um, Takiya also said, did you start out with a few people and then B-U-O-Y added more students. I think I understand what you're saying. And I think that I answered that when I was responding to Jazzy 305 question. I started off providing services back in 2016. Once I started, it never stopped. It never stopped. I went from having services to doing one-on-ones, to doing challenges, to doing memberships. That's why I'm telling y'all not to do it. <laughs> yes, it felt good to generate some revenue, but I was burnt out. I was burnt out. And so if I knew then what I know now, I would take the time to create a one-on-one -on -one coaching package and put my energies there instead of having memberships and doing all these challenges and literally trying to do all the things to generate revenue when all I needed was a high quality, highly valuable product, which is my program. That's what I needed, but I didn't have 
I didn't know who to go to at the time for the help. And at the time, no one was really doing that. So by the time that I created it, I created an outline for a 16 week program for one-on-one. -on -one. And I piloted it with a couple of people first and then I took it group. But I already knew what was needed because I had worked with people, you know, like I had worked providing services for at least a year, year and a half, you know, at least a year publishing books before I um, created a coaching program. Karina says, I'm currently diving deeper into coaching after publishing my financial journal. Inharv.com says, is there a sweet spot for a coaching timeline? For example, three months. It really depends on how long it's going to take your clients to see results, how long you want to work with them, and the price point. So, and it also depends on your um, on what you want to become your business model. So, like, if you're just starting and you know that you need a coaching program, you don't have one yet, I wouldn't suggest that you work with anybody for six months starting out because that's a long time to work with somebody. I would suggest that you do an, a, a 12 week program. Either you can start off with four weeks, eight weeks, uh, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, or 12 weeks starting out. The first thing that you have to do is determine what is the end goal? What is the one thing that this person is going to be able to accomplish by working with me? And how long is it going to take them? It doesn't, and you don't have to draw the time out. If they sit down and do the work, how long is it going to take them? Start there. So my, you might say, hey, I'm going to start out with eight weeks. You might say, hey, I'm going to start out with six weeks. And as you're working with, this is why you should do one-on-one -on -one, starting out because at, as you do it, you're going to see whether or not they need less or more time. You're going to figure out what you should add to your processes and what you should remove. You will, and once you run this, run it over and over and over again, or run it with a few clients, then you'll have the information. You're just like, okay, you know what? I'm maxed out on one-on-one. -on -one. I've got my processes down. Now it's time to scale. Now it's time to go group. Y'all, I mean, and I know that you y'all see uh, a lot of uh, people. You can't pay attention to what people do. And a lot of you all look at where people are now and think that just because they're there, that's what you should be doing. A lot of people where the, you know, who are at a certain space in business now, they've put in the work. They've done the one-on-ones. They've done the VIP days. They've done it. So now, yes, they can go and do events. Now, yes, they can go and do have group coaching programs where, they're, where their members are killing it. Because they did it for one to two years, likely under the radar, offering VIP days or, you know, in a one-on-one uh, setting. They took the time to perfect their frameworks, perfect their delivery, perfect their processes before they went to actually scale it out. And what you don't want is to get caught up with somebody who's going to charge you, you know, large amounts of money to work with them and then you know like they don't even have anything to provide you and you don't want to be that person either you don't want to be out here marketing a, uh that you have a group coaching program but then want somebody join that's nothing there for them <laughs> you want to be, do more than be a good marketer you want to be able to deliver the results that you share, say that you can actually help somebody obtain all right, so I hope that this makes sense. Thanks, y'all, so much for tuning in tonight. I do have to run. We've been on here for close to an hour. Um, so again, my name is Jasmine Womack. If you're new to me, if you're watching the replay, I am the person that you come and talk to if you want to write a highly impactful book. We're talking about how-to books. We're talking about self-help books. We're talking about actually merging your professional 
expertise with your personal experience to help your readers get ultimate success, all right? And teaching you how to take your book and use it to grow a high-end speaking and coaching business. I work with corporate professionals and small business owners to help them do that, all right? So if that's your goal, you definitely want to make sure that you work with me. We're doing a five-hour virtual event on Friday called Published and Paid. So make sure you go to jasminewomack.com forward slash PP live. We have about 30 tickets or so remaining. So make sure that you go ahead and register and reserve your spot because on Friday, I'm giving strategy. I'm not just going to sit here. I'm not just going to sit and talk to you, but I'm going to tell you what you need and how to get it done. All right. So I'm really, really excited. Make sure that you go ahead and secure your spot and I will chat with y'all later.